Hey everybody, so today I am here with my amazing husband Paul and we are going to do a walking video of uh, Delray Beach, of downtown Delray Beach. We are going to start in this noisy corner over here where the brand new Sandy Village is going up. As you can see, new construction over there. It's going to be an outdoor retail shopping center. And what I love about this is that they are keeping a couple of the historic houses and including them in the design. Uh, so we are on the corner of Swinton and Atlantic Avenue right here. This used to be docks closed. They were the best burgers and hot dogs and hopefully they'll uh, redesign it and do something else. Um, today it's Saturday, January 27, and the Delray Beach Market is going on. This is where all the amazing vendors with tons of food. So this is uh, going from October to May on the mornings of Saturdays from 9 to 2 p.m. All right, so my husband will uh, also participate because he's a wealth of knowledge about Delray Beach. So we're just gonna start. Basically, we're heading east now and at the end of Atlantic Avenue, it's going to be the beach. <clears throat> so you see, this is uh, the, the one club in Delray Beach that they have honey right next to it. You have Eliz Elizabetta's amazing Italian restaurant. Fresh fruits and vegetables. Oh, and this is the bakery vendor, the one that sells all the cookie. Oh no, this is tacos. So it's uh, the guacamole and fresh salsa, yum. Oh, Hank and Dad's move, it's over here. Are you okay? What is staying in the sun, or should we go in the shade? Maybe. Let's cross, over. cross over. Let's cross over. Yeah. Okay. Busy day. Probably the busiest, one of the busiest uh, times of the year. All the nice cars that are driving. There's a family looking across, so we have a better shot. Let's just let them follow them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If they don't wait for them, then we're in trouble. So Delray Beach is a right, golf cart see. community, and you'll see a bunch of a golf cart everywhere. <laughs> This restaurant here is Avalon, delicious. Right next to it is Rocco's Tacos. So this is uh, Tremonti, Sloan's ice cream on the other side. here in this little court section we have park tavern great hangout get bar place and salt since this is a beach town you have a lot of the cute surf shops like quick uh, quick quiet storm sorry <laughs> Sazio Italian over here. So this is the corner of uh, Second Avenue. Hello, good morning. <clears throat> Second Avenue is also Pineapple Grove. 
And Pineapple Grove is, a, is an extension of Atlantic Avenue. If you keep on going down, you also have a couple of restaurants and a hotel, a couple of hotels actually. One of them is the Ray Hotel that opened recently. So uh, pretty cool street also to go down on. But we're just gonna keep going to the beach. So we have our Starbucks coffee shop also. Oh, this is the new uh, Brandy Melville. My daughters love this store. Here we have Throw Social in the back. It's an amazing uh, nighttime hangout. Very cool place. Taverna Opa, Greek restaurants, and the bright light train going by. Another Italian restaurant. What's the name of this one again? Vic Angelo. That's Vic Angelo. Over the corner Johnny Brown this is usually a very happening place to have live music over there and the colorful building right there that's the pinball museum it's an amazing uh, museum of pinball machines actually that have uh, pinball m machines from the 60s yeah, would you say the times. oldest yeah, ones you can bring your kids there and you can play with them unlimited yeah and it's like cheap too right is it 15 dollars 15 dollars from the 15 yeah and you can stay but they also have other games and you can do parties so very cool place to check out if you have kids or you know you can go by yourself too i have i <laughs> know exactly so here we have a lionfish a couple of cool boutique like morley and coco coco and co Today it's 80 degrees in Delray Beach, January 27. Are the kids' favorite? I don't know, my girls love Urban Outfitters also. I may have to stop here later too, babe. We have two banks over here. I just step on. Where is the green owl? Oh, here's the green owl. This is uh, an amazing breakfast place right there in the corner. Oh, there's a line because it's so yummy. I just remember it's cash only. Cash only. You have to run to the ATM like I have a few times. Yeah, and there's two banks right next to it, so. This is Kilwins. Everybody knows Kilwins. Famous for their ice cream, apple covered with caramels and things like that. More cute boutiques. And now we're approaching Federal Highway or Fifth Avenue. Lemongrass, also Asian food. This is new. So are those the places open?
open only for dinner? Yeah, exactly. Mm. So this is cut 432, steakhouse. yeah, cut 432. The yellow building you see over there, that's a hotel, one of the Delray Beach oldest hotel. Colony Hotel. That's the Colony Hotel. Definitely recommend taking a quick walk through their lobby. It's like stepping back into, I guess I would say Cuba in the 1930s. Yes, oh, they kept, <laughs> they're not stopping. They kept it very historic, so, which is very cool. Delray is also, we forgot to, did we pass the blue gallery? Uh, yeah, no, it's over there. Uh, it's coming up. You're going to see that's one of mm -hmm. my favorite galleries, but lots of galleries in Delray Beach. They're definitely doing a lot of things for the art. There's even a couple of streets that are art. And here is the Colony Hotel from the front. Look at this beautiful historical hotel here in Delray Beach. And right next to it, the Atlantic Crossing that just finished completion over here of this one section, but there's more section going up also. They have townhomes, restaurants, businesses. And apartments for rents also. Apartments for rents. And those apartments, the prices are... 2000 plus. Yeah, 2000 and up for the one bedroom. That's another new restaurant, look at the Colonial, or Le Colonial. I haven't been to it. I'll have to try it. Here is the Blue Gallery. Beautiful gallery with really cool art. <laughs> can see this is Atlantic Crossing the building that just built it's brand new and over there we're gonna pass there's another uh, field that they're going to build phase two J&J seafood super good Oh, and this is Hawkers. This is one of our family's favorite to come here with the girls and bring our dog, Max. Um, they have a super nice outdoor area in the middle of there and serve Asian street food, which is delicious. <laughs> and reasonably priced compared to some of the other restaurants on the avenue. Compared, yeah, that's it, correct. <laughs> so this is going to be phase two right over there more retail, more apartments. It's 
stop and break out of the boxes. This is kind of like the back end look of the Atlantic Crossing, so you can see where all the apartments and townhomes are. So, like for example, last night we had. Gotta relay. You gotta let me know. Oops. Mm. <laughs> Also a historic bar. It's been here forever. Do you know how old this bar is, honey? It's actually from England. They dismantled it and broke the whole bar here. Oh. I don't know when it was. So all those it's doors are 50, original. 40 years ago. And there's yeah. a story that it's haunted in there. You know, yeah. There's a bell that they ring at midnight and one of the original owners will come out. It's been on TV on uh, this is over the Bridge Cafe, another amazing uh, brunch, breakfast place. <laughs> they have live music. Approaching the Veterans Park is over there. Nice playground for the kids, and they do a lot of yoga classes over here, drum circles, and that's where we're going to cross the the bridge, the Intercoastal Bridge. So new ice. Oh, this looks interesting. That looks new. Looks like it's bobo teas and ice cream. I've got to tell my girls. One nice thing about living here is always a lot of new places. There's always there. something new. Deck 84 has been here forever since we moved here about 20 years ago. This is a great place on the water. And here's the Intercoastal. We're going to go over the bridge now. Great place to be down here on vacation to go to and sell the water and have a meal. Yep. Crossing the bridge. Beautiful weather today. And the second light is the beach right at the end over there. So, just say it's 25 minutes, 30 minute maximum to walk to the beach. That's gonna take us five minutes. Here's just a bunch of offices. And then, once you get to the beach, you start having a couple of condos in Delray Beach.
We're approaching the Seagate Hotel. This hotel was not here when we moved here. So it's on a newish side. It's one of the high-end hotels that they have here in downtown Dara because obviously it's walkable to the beach and they offer great spas and massages. also have great restaurants inside of it. Over here, this hallway is the Ray Hideaway. It's uh, it's a high it's a bar that's hiding. <laughs> We heard about, about a it. cool heard place the music coming from it one night. Yeah, night. yeah they, have, they have music, they have you know, bar food, and it's a big place actually. Yeah, so you can definitely see worth checking it out. Just down the alley, it just says bar. So, where's that karaoke too? At the, the hideaway, yeah, uh -huh. that's cool. Still the Seagate Hotel with their little sitting area and cafe over here. So if you have kids, they have really, really cool fish tanks in there throughout the multiple, there's a couple different lobbies. So take them in there and walk through and it's really cool. Yeah. And in the uh, restaurant, there's a shark tank. Sometimes they put um, jellyfish, but I believe it's a shark tank in there with baby sharks in it. So it's cool to check out. Nice. Is, it, is this here that they have the jellyfish tank or no? I think you're thinking of the one down in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, this one here has sharks. Sharks. Even better. This is the Marriott over here. Stay on vacation and go, right? We would look there first before anything else. Yeah. The thing the season is, it's not cheap, but it's reasonably priced compared to a lot of places here. Yes, the Crane House. If anybody wants information about that, just let me know. That's my beautiful church in the back over there. Across the street is another one of our favorite. It's Pizza Rustica. So let's just pizza. Opal Grand over there with the restaurant Drift. And they have outdoor sitting and in this beautiful Florida weather, it's definitely enjoyable. Mary also have a little breakfast area. Bagels, that's right, that's the bagels place.
there another great place for lunch. A little bit more Not older, here. I wouldn't make so much for families, but the couples, a really great place called Drift. Mm-hmm. We drink a lot of Red Bull here in Delray. feel how much of a different vibe it is here from the beach area yeah. versus where we were on the other restaurants. It's like a little bit of both in Delray. Mm -hmm. So here you get the pavilion. It's one of the beach entrances, but uh, it basically goes for two miles. to the beach and this is where we're going to conclude our video <laughs> have a great day